I would be the best boyfriend ever. Like, wow. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name's Danielle. Subscribe down below for new videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and sometimes surprise days like today, where I just felt like uploading another video, to be honest, because I'm feeling good. I'm praying that throughout this video, I don't get red lipstick on my teeth. So I want to say, hey, if at any point during this video, let me know if I have lipstick on my teeth, comment down below. But I realize this isn't a live video, so you can't really do that. But anyways, I am dressed in Valentine's Day attire. If you might have guessed, this is a Valentine's Day related video video because Valentine's Day is such an amazing day and honestly Valentine's Day has kind of become the point for me where it's like it's not just about like any relationships that you have with people but it's also just about like love in general and like I have some of the best friends in the whole entire world and I shower them with love on that day you know whoever it is in your life it's just a day of love it doesn't have to be you depressed at home eating chocolates because you don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend because it's really not like that at all. It's just a day full of love and happiness. But I do suggest staying off Twitter and seeing those cute pictures of the guy bringing your girl flowers and a huge teddy bear because just, that does get ya. Anyways, today I wanted to do a video about the top gifts that you can get for him or for her for Valentine's Day because Everyone that I've spoken to lately has not gotten a gift for their either significant other or for any of their friends for Valentine's Day. I personally don't think you have to get gifts for Valentine's Day, but I know a lot of people like to. I think flowers and a card or just a card or, you know, just something little is really cute, especially on Valentine's Day. It's kind of more so with being with your your boyfriend or with being with your friends. But I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, like, what are good gifts to get my boyfriend or what are good gifts to get... My dad, like, you know, I get my dad something on Valentine's Day just to show my appreciation for him. So I wrote down a list of ideas. I talked to some of my guy friends. I asked them what they would want from someone, and I asked some of my girlfriends, and I also just kind of tuned in to my inner person. So without further ado, let's get started with some of the top gifts to get for him or for her for Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna start off with what to get for him because I know most of my viewers are girls, so maybe you guys are looking to get your special someone something or your brother or your best guy friend or whatever it is. Number one is, I saw this on Twitter and I think this is the coolest thing and I talked to some of my guy friends today about it and they're like, yes, 100% approve. Get them the heart-shaped tray of Chick-fil-A nuggets or chicken minis and I think they will love you forever. <laughs> Number two is a photo in a frame or a picture frame of some sort. Um, I know for Joey, I got him a picture of us and I like put it in a frame and he has it in his apartment and like it's just something like cute to have like just for one of your good friends or for your boyfriend or for your best friend even just to like, I don't know, not everyone prints pictures nowadays so for you to actually go through the effort of printing out the picture and putting it in a picture frame means a lot to them and it's a nice reminder for when they're at their house. Next is a gift card to their favorite fast food place, restaurant, coffee place because guys usually have a place that they go to like my brother goes to Dunkin Donuts like every morning morning and gets his little iced coffee and bagel and a lot of guys have that or they'll all go to Chick-fil-A or something of that sort so getting them a gift card like that and like just a nice handwritten card will probably make their lives. Next is a hoodie or a jacket or a sweater of some sort. Everyone just likes to get comfy clothes um, and who doesn't love a good hoodie? I know a lot of guys just like to be cozy and they like to have their hoodies and wear their hoods and I don't know. I thought that was a good idea. This is something kind of different, but I think it's something really creative if you want to be all fun. If you're, if the person that you're shopping for is really into music, get them a music membership or like subscription to someplace. Like if they don't have a Spotify premium membership, do that. I love Spotify premium. You can save the music to your phone and not use data or get them Apple Music or get them an iTunes gift card so that they can get Apple Music. Next is kind of along the lines of the hoodie, but comfy PJ pants or sweatpants. I didn't know this, but guys like actually love being in like sweatpants or especially like pajama pants at night. Like my brother wears pajama pants all the time. <laughs> I just outed him, but like whatever. That's something that they wouldn't necessarily want to buy themselves, but something that would make them really happy. Next, this doesn't apply to everyone, but I know a lot of guys like to wear cool socks. Some guys like to wear those like really fun, cool socks with their vans, or maybe they want Nike socks to wear with their sneakers. Like, I don't know, just cool socks is kind of cool. Next is an iPhone case. I mean, you can go many routes, maybe just a protective one, or they don't even have a case. So they're like, here's a case, because they probably just don't think to buy one. Um, or like just a really cool classic one, or you can get one and you can personalize it online and put a picture of you and him or you and her or whatever it is on it, whatever you want to do. Next is cool sunglasses, especially maybe sunglasses that you really like, you would like to see on that person, so you get him those sunglasses, I don't know. Um, but I know guys really like, you know, like the cool aviators or maybe they like club masters or maybe they like the round ones, just kind of see what they would like. Reflective sunglasses are really cool. Um, 
whatever works. Um, I just think that'd be something fun, especially with spring and summer coming up. My last idea for him is a new Xbox or PlayStation game or whatever those gaming stations are out now. Um, the, a game that they're really wanting lately, or maybe they have Call of Duty 3 and they want Call of Duty 4. I literally don't know what I'm saying right now. Um, but if they're into games, maybe one that they've been wanting for a while. I think that would make them really happy. Now on to women. So all of you gentlemen or women watching this, looking to buy something for your best friend or for your girlfriend or for your wife, here is the stuff that will make her the happiest gal in the world. Not, you know, material things don't mean everything, but these are really good Valentine's Day gifts ideas, I think. Like, I would be the best boyfriend ever. Like, wow. Tip number one, flowers. I have not met a girl that does not flowers. Does, that does not flowers. <laughs> I have not met a girl that doesn't love flowers. Girls love flowers. I mean, if you can figure out her favorite type of flower, that's even cooler. If you don't know what type of flowers they like, peonies are always a win, especially if she watches Gossip Girl. Peonies are my favorite flower, and I also really like sunflowers. Um, sunflowers, peonies, or hydrangeas I think are really good. Tulips are good, um, or what's the other kind? Well, I mean roses. Red roses, white roses, pink roses. I mean, honestly, any type of flower. It's just like the act of giving a girl flowers is just so cute and so traditional, and it's just, love it. Next is yoga pants, and I'm sure you guys are not mad to buy yoga pants for a girl, so get your girl some yoga pants. <laughs> Next is a piece of jewelry, whether it's a ring or a necklace or a bracelet or something that kind of like has significance to it. Maybe it's got, you know, coordinates on it. <laughs> or maybe it has just like the letter, like the first letter of her name or just something very delicate, like a necklace or something that when she wears it, she thinks of you. And it's just very simple. Make it very simple, not too statement-y, just really simple, classic, cute, um, something that they can wear every day. Next is some girl, if your girl likes makeup, um, probably make her day if you get her like an eyeshadow palette or something. I just got the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Modern Renaissance palette that is like really lusted over right now, like everyone's really wanting it. So um, it's just got a ton of beautiful eyeshadow colors. You can go to Sephora and you can buy it and you can just go to Sephora, lady, don't worry, you got this. If you're a guy, just go in there, say, where's the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and they will take you there and if those are sold out get her another palette there's so many palettes out right now just any makeup palette will just make her life if she likes makeup if she doesn't then no next is kind of along the lines of beauty get her a perfume that you like the scent of so she'll like if you guys are going out she'll be like oh I'm gonna spray this on because I know he likes it next is any sort of surprise whether it's you surprise her for dinner or you surprise her with her favorite concert tickets or you show up to her house or you you know, book a trip, I don't know. It could be really big extremes or just the smallest of things, but just little surprises here and there aren't too shabby. Next, I also said a hoodie or a hat. I love getting hoodies from guys. Um, I just love the idea of wearing a hoodie that was like once worn by a guy. I just love that idea. Maybe it was your hoodie or it's a hoodie that you would really like or just more of like a manly kind of hoodie or a, a hat, like a baseball cap. Those are kind of cool. Next idea I had was cute pajamas. Girls love getting pajama sets because we don't want to buy pajama sets for ourselves because it feels weird, but just getting cute little pajama sets, whether it's like a cute pair of shorts and a tank top that match or a onesie or just something like that or a nightgown. It's like really cute and fun and like different. And my last idea is you could get her like like a pair of fuzzy socks and like a nice candle and like a nice card and you're good to go. That is like the perfect gift. Every girl loves fuzzy socks. Um, I love candles. I don't know if all girls like candles, but candles are usually a win. You can get a Bath and Body Works candle or I really like the candles from Anthropology. Those are great. I mean, your options are endless. Um, but those are some things that I think would be really awesome to get her that are super thoughtful and shows that you care a little bit, you know? Make sure to check out my last video, which will be linked right here. And also make sure to check out my video before that right there. And then if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe right there. You can click there or you can click down below. I'm really wanting to hit 300,000 subscribers. That would just be the coolest, craziest thing. So help me achieve my goal. She believes she goes so she did. So I'm, I'm excited. But happy Valentine's Day to you guys. Happy Galentine's Day. Happy happy love day. That's what my mom calls it. She goes happy love day because um, it's, it's, it's just a great time and it's just a happy time and I'm going to shower my besties with love that day. So I don't know about you, but I hope this video helped you at all. Um, I don't do gift videos a lot, but I had the idea and I was like, let's just do it. Let's just film another video. Why not? So comment down below if this video helped you guys and what video you want to see next on my channel. And I will see you guys very soon for my next video. Bye guys.